Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got Jacob writing in on the email here. Uh, he's got a question. He says, Hi, firstly, thank you for the informative video tutorials. I'm planning to buy a Nightcore 24-120 f4 uh, for my 5200. So that'd be one of my favorite lenses, the Nikon 24-120 f4 VR for his Nikon D5200. Any advice why I should not? Warm regards, Jacob. And uh, he's writing in from Delhi. So, uh, thanks for your question, Jacob. First of all, I just want to point out, as much as I love that lens, that is not a DX lens. Not that you can't use it on the D5200, but typically people would buy something like an 18 to 140 that's a DX lens and has a little bit wider range. That 24 to 120 is beautiful on a 610 or a 750 or an 800, any of the full frame cameras, because it goes 24 is quite wide. But when you apply the crop factor, it's not as wide. You're into the 30 mil range there at the, at the, at the low end of 30. Um, the 18 will give you much wider, closer to a 24 once you apply the crop factor. So that would be, if you're going to stay with DX, I probably wouldn't get that lens. If your reason for getting that is you have your eye on a full frame camera upgrade in the future, then yeah, that's probably a good idea because now you're already investing in good quality full frame lenses that you can use when you buy your full frame camera, such as a 610, a 750, one of the 800 series, the 800E, the 810, uh, maybe even an 850. Um, so that would be the reason I, I would be okay with that. If you think you're only staying DX, then I would suggest something more in a DX range. Um, you could also look at, uh, if you're looking for something faster, uh, the Sigma 17 to 70, 28 to 4. It's a nice performing lens. It's economical. gives you a good range. Uh, you could look at the 17 to 70, 28, the constant aperture 2.8 with the OS, the image stabilization on it from Sigma. Really nice lens. Love that as a standard fast lens. Again, if you're going to upgrade to full frame, I do like your choice of lenses. If you're not planning to do it, then I think I would get something in a more of a DX lens that gives me a wider end on the wide end. What do you guys think, though? Let me throw it back to our viewers. What would you do? Would you go ahead and buy a 24 to 120 uh, for a D5200, regardless of if you're planning a full frame upgrade or not? Or if there's no full frame coming, would you do what I'm suggesting and get an actual DX lens with a wider wide, uh, something like the 17 to 70 or an 18 to 140? Um, or would you get something else altogether? Let me know in the comments below. Let's help out Jacob. Let me know what you guys would do and why. Uh, always great to get your feedback. It helps. Um, you know, round out the conversation, a little bit more opinions and information for our viewers when they're asking questions to help make their decision. Thanks, folks. Thanks, Jacob, for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.